So in 2008, Lehman Brothers went bankrupt and the world economy crashed. Now one of China's largest property developer, China Evergrande is facing a similar situation. Is it deja vu? Evergrande is one of the largest property developer in the world. But here's the kicker, it now has a total debt obligation of $300 billion. This all seemed too familiar because if you remember Lehman Brothers, it also went under and filed for bankruptcy in 2008 because it couldn't meet its huge debt obligations. So it's no wonder why many people compare this to the Lehman Brothers that got us the 2008 financial crisis. So both companies are very large and both have lots of debt. So furthermore, the company had to borrow millions from hundreds of banks just to pay off their interest payments alone. China Evergrande, once a darling of the CCP, but now could possibly be the trigger to the next financial crisis? Watch this video to find out what exactly happened to this Chinese developer and what impact it will bring to Singapore's property market. Hi, my name is Pete from Singapore Property Pro and we help people use their property to prosper for their retirement with our 3 to one property framework. And remember to smack the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified whenever a new video just like this comes up. So the question on everybody's mind is, will the Singapore market be affected by this Evergrande fallout, just like Lehman Brothers that brought the 2008 financial crisis? So although there is a lot of similarity as pointed out earlier, like both are very big and both owe a lot of money to debtors, there is a principal difference here. So the assets of Lehman Brothers are mainly financial assets. However, Evergrande on the other hand holds physical assets, things like land, buildings, apartments, condos. So we are of the opinion that it won't be like another Lehman Brothers financial crisis. But after saying that, however, there's bound to be some impact to the market and the economy. So the full extent, we will probably only be able to know as this crisis roll out. So already we are seeing Australian iron ore exports to China. A major building material component is forecast to have some negative impact to its economy. Like everybody else, we will have to wait for the crisis to roll up to be able to tell. So just like a big property developer like Evergrande that need to account for risks such as over leveraging on borrowings in this case, retail property buyers and investors like you and I will need to have a proper financial calculation when planning to upgrade your property. To prevent similar scenario like overstretching your commitments and ending up like Evergrande. So remember to take massive action and connect with our team to find out a risk-free way to upgrade your property and how we use our property framework to address possible risks and to structure in place plans to address them. Simply click on the link in the description and our team will get in touch with you to help you plan out a proper property financial assessment just for you.